16-year-old Shamar Nicholas escaped the prosecution after killing 24-year-old Matthew Gutierrez in broad daylight on the south side of Belize City. The young boy was fatally shot moments after committing the murder as police officers manning a nearby checkpoint stopped him dead in his tracks. According to ACP Fitzroy Yearwood, the incident unfolded shortly after 9 o'clock on Sunday morning. Matthew Gutierrez, 24 years, was walking on Crowd Road when he was approached by Shamar Nicholas. 16 years. Unfortunately, Nicholas opened fire on Gutierrez, who was transported to the KHMH and succumbed to his injuries. According to ACP Yearwood, the teen's terror didn't end there as he opened fire on the police while trying to escape the scene. Whilst leaving the scene where Nicholas apparently committed this murder, he came across officers that were on duty on that same street, opened fire again. This time he was not that lucky. He, the police returned fire where he was injured, transported to KHMH and succumbed sometime around 9.05 a.m. The minor's mother, Zelma Nicholas, says she had last spoken to her son on Saturday night and was awoken to the news of his death on Sunday morning. I was asleep and um, when I wake up, um, I say, Mama, my son gonna heal me if you come. He said, Mama, something happened to Shamar. I say, wait. So he said, um, when he gone out, by his ear pow pow, but when everything that a uh, pop shot, by the time he run out, uh, so he said, he heal it. He said, Dad, Dad, I said, but you better come. He said, because I'm not pop shot. He said, somebody said, I'm going to shot. Uh, when I get up, uh, so he never in the house. Uh, when I got out there, then we don't care about it. So we go to the hospital. I uh, see him uh, on the bed. Then we don't have any uh, um, the bag. But while Nicholas was found with a firearm and injured a police officer during the shooting, his mother says she believes the police are trying to frame him. Police always cover up themselves and thing. And I know for a fact my son and no angel, but they don't have no proof. Say that that Dali boy do what they say that claim to say that he do. You know we get um, information that nothing like that happened, and it's the other way around. But as I say, let God be the judge of that, and God see what happened and know what happened. So if the police and they try cover up anything or. Let God handle that. Nicholas says that even if her son was committing a crime, the police had no justification to take his life away. Yes, sometimes the boy and the other do fool, but you have to remember that they're not animal. And if you do your job and you meet up to the bad guys, then you give a warning, shot or something, or shot them in the foot. When they drop, you handcuff them, deal with them and charge them with whatever they're going to do, you know, if they murder or whatever. Deal with them, send them to jail, and think, but don't kill them like a dog. He's not an animal. As for the family of Matthew Gutierrez, his sister Maria says that he was a hardworking man whose life was innocently cut short. Well, to be honest, Vijay, my brother was a kind, sweet, humble, respectable young man. He wasn't in any gang. He wasn't any a gang member or any part of any gang. So this came to a shock to the family when we got the call that he was gone down senselessly on the street. It really hurt us. We are still confused, last because he was a loving person. Anybody could attest that my brother would take off his shirt to give someone. He was working and he made sure that he takes care of his daughter, regardless of no matter what. She was his world. And this is so devastating to see my little niece would be growing without a father because of some youth that believed that he was God to take away my brother's life senselessly over. Only God knows what. Guterres leaves behind a six-year-old daughter. Reporting for Love News, I am Vijay Alvarez.